Okay, week 12 began with the Thanksgiving doubleheader. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, I took the Lions and the Cowboys to win on thanks on Thanksgiving Day. Neither outcome came tr came true. Of course, it is what it is. the the only The only positive of the of the Lions game get after the Lions got blow, blown out was Matt Patricia getting getting his retarded ass fired. Or about fucking time. They pro. And in my opinion, the Lions probably would have fired Patricia after the after the Carolina Panthers game because that because that game was fucking pathetic. They they didn't score a single fucking point in that game and against a rebuilding Panthers football team with a bat with a with the quarterback who, who's only seen action in the C, in the CFL XFL but before the X before COVID nineteen happened canceled the entire fucking season. It is, it is what it, it is what it is is but so yeah I believe if it what if the Lions didn't have only three days to prepare for the Thanksgiving game that they would have fired Patricia after after the loss to the Panthers that's just my opinion yeah because because Patricia has has once again ruined is another Belichick disciple that has once again ruined another franchise. It is what it is. Um, with that being said, now I got I got to I got to put this into two parts because kickoff because kickoff for week for the early afternoon games begins in in less than fourteen in, yeah less than fourteen minutes. So let's get started because I don't have time for this bullshit. Raiders going on the road to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Raiders, be, uh, fucking, fucking hell, man. Raiders have defeated, have, did not defeat the Chiefs, unfortunately. They, they, they lost in a shootout against Patrick Mahomes. And the Falcons just got done losing to the New Orleans Saints with Taysom Hill at quarterback. Um, the Raiders are actually doing better on the road than they are at home, home this year, but. Should that really matter in twenty in twenty twenty? I, I don't think so. Uh, but in, but in any event, take the Oakland Raiders. Set Oakland again. God damn it, Vegas Raiders to defeat the Atlanta Falcons. Chargers going on the road to take on the Buffalo Bills. Good job, Chargers. You finally beat a team that you were supposed to beat. Problem is you're not facing the Buffalo Bills. While their defense has has been has remained middle of the pack territory, I, I'm still going to take the Buffalo Bills because they're the, they're just a better team than the Chargers overall. Giants going on the road to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. I did I did watch that Joe Burrow injury because it was a fuck because it was a fucking because it was a fucking joke joke that Bengals offensive line is a fucking joke. Joke and Zach Taylor, head coach of the Bengals, had the audacity to say that the that the Bengals have been doing a better job of, of pass protection the past couple of weeks. That is one hundred percent bullshit. Because if if that were the fucking case case, then why is Joe Burrow out for the remainder of the fucking season? And why did he su suffer that nasty that that gnarly fucking injury? Well, that caused his that caused his leg to, leg to bend in a. In a, in a way that it's not supposed to fucking bend. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's whatever. This season could go... The remainder of this season could go one of two ways. The Bengals could... Could win in frustrating fashion after... After deciding to run the ball, which is what they should have been doing... The entire season. Of course, Joe Mixon is out for the remainder of the season as well. Due to an injury, but whatever. All right. So yeah, they could they could win. So yeah, they could win a few more games in frustrating fashion, in a way that they should have been doing with Joe Burrow at the start at the 
as the starting quarterback, which is run the football. Or they could or they could end up losing the remainder of their games and hopefully Zach Taylor gets fired. Look, don't get me wrong, Marvin Lewis deserved to get fired because he because bottom line he has not won a he had not won a fucking playoff game. He hadn't even advanced into the divisional round, which is even which is even worse. <laughs> uh, but the way Zach Taylor has handled uh, the Joe Burrow shit Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. So go ahead, take the New York the New York Giants to defeat the Cincinnati Bengals. This team is still this team is still young and underdeveloped. Titans going on the road to take on the Indianapolis Colts. The, last time these two teams met, the Colts went went into Tennessee and and beat the Tennessee Titans. In fact, last year the road team, both of the road teams have won have won this series, and frankly, I expect more of the same same. Take the ten I expect the same thing this year. Take the Tennessee Titans to defeat the Indianapolis Colts. I will say Colts. This is a very important game because of the because the winner of this game will most likely win this division. But go ahead and take the Titans to win. Uh Panthers going on the road to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Fuck you, Minnesota, but go ahead and take the Vikings to defeat the Panthers. Panthers still have work to do. Dude, let's let's see how let's see how PJ Walker does with does this week. Or who I don't know who's going to be starting the quarterback. Nor do I give a shit. But take the Vikings to win. To win. If it's to, I doubt Teddy Bridgewater starting in the, this game. Game. Oh, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, Cardinals going on the road to take on the New England Patriots. Um, uh, the Cardinals did lose to the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday night. And the Patriots lost to the Houston Texans. So both teams are looking for a victory and to avoid a two-game losing streak. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead take the New England Patriots to defeat the Arizona Cardinals. I should. T I really should take Arizona, but I'm not going. But I'm not going to. If the if the Patriots do lose again, again they and they are in danger of of having their uh, ten, uh their their consecutive ten win season snapped, which which is at which which currently stands at seventeen. The Patriots are going to have to win their last their last five games, including this one. Four and six. Six games. My bad. It is what it is. It is. But go ahead. Yeah, but yes, go ahead and take the Patriots to win. Dolphins going on the road to take on the New York Jets. I was a little shocked that the Broncos actually beat the, the, uh, the Dolphins. I am. I was, I did, I was, I was pleased that Drew Locke was able to bounce back after that god awful performance against the the Vegas Raiders. Um, hopefully, hopefully for the Dolphins' sake that that loss to the Broncos was just a hiccup, because I'm going to take the, the Miami Dolphins to defeat the New York Jets. Because, like I said, until the Jets actually win a fucking game, I have no reason to pick the Jets to win, to win any games this year. Okay, I really, really don't. But that's just how I see the early afternoon session of the of week twelve. Late afternoon games and the Sunday and the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday primetime games coming up later. Yes, I said t Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today, because in case you haven't figured, because in case you've been living under a rock, the the Steelers game, Steelers Ravens game has once again been moved to fr from Thanksgiving to Sunday. Day, and now to Tuesday night. <laughs>